My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. So what do we got? Let's find out what we did with the other character. They knew the building and they were very well organized. We found the body of an android on the rooftop. Oh. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it got wounded. I mean damaged and couldn't make the jump. And then I'm sure it's very video, careful friends had no choice but to kill him. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. And we want to make That's babies too, nine. so give us the factory. It feels so weird to be Connor, like, investigating the no, other no signs of androids death. too. They're it's like you're sabotaging them. yourself. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Oh, this is where the androids were sitting. Oh ho. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. I don't know which it is. In this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because oh, of wait. Did you see that guy turn his head? I think it's that one. I saw he turned his head. Just at the end. Yeah, did he? He's looking at us. Oh yeah, no, like this is the guy. He's doing like a freaking LA noir face at us. <laughs> Maybe I can we got him, boys. He has as much subtlety as David Cage. Probe his memory. There we go. Oh! Oh no! Connor's in pain. Hank! I need help! Hank! I gotta get the- I gotta get the knife out. Come on, buddy! Oh, he's not doing too good! Good. It's a deviant. Stop it. Oh god. Uh, save Hank. Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd Oh no. Connor. Connor, no. I mean, at least we're gonna win some brownie points. Connor sacrificed himself for Hank. Wait, does that mean there's like 67%? Oh no. Well, Connor's dead. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. I'm Rose. How's it going, Rose? What can I do for you? There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> we burned down that house. And Alice is more useless than a child her age has any right to be. <laughs> I leave her alone. She's like seven. I'll stay with her a while. Just wants to watch Scooby-Doo. Shouldn't have to be dodging trucks at this age. Her father was beating her. So I shot him. I had to protect her. So we ran away. And I shot him. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Metaphors? Like, there's no parallels to historical events to draw whatsoever in this game. I think, I think it's just a bit of a stretch to make any kind of comparisons here. There's just no subtlety. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> like, they hammer it home. Do you know what happened if the police find them here? They are alive! I'm uh... You're alive! They adorable cockroach with a thousand... Hey! Adorable cockroach with a ten quid! Thank you very much. Hello, RT. It's been a while. Thank you, gamer, with the donation. In this heated moment, appreciate the ten dollars. 
The police. Uh oh. It's the police. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Open the door. Um. I knew this was gonna happen. Upstairs. Upstairs. Oh, we gotta hide evidence. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. Stop panicking, Adam. Stop panicking, Adam. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected gonna, visitors? He's gonna make himself at home. No, nothing in Go particular. Go make some coffee. Do you want some blood in your coffee? We have plenty of bags of blue in the cupboard. Oh god, those clothes on the fireplace. That is that Alice's jumper. Suspicion level is zero percent. Would you like some more coffee? I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, 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 I I forgot. There's um. There's my daughter upstairs. Uh oh. Okay. She has a daughter. She forgot about loving parent. I guess. The androids. They... He needs a rest. He's very He's tired. Been in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. Remember your lines, I Adam. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Oh. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, it's, it's the washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? <laughs> Actually, I hero. shot Simon. He died it wasn't for the because... won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. This is my revolution. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. I've been waiting a long time for this. I really like opening gates and back alleys. You've no idea. Secure the area, get into the store. Jesus Christ. I didn't even put their seatbelts on. Like the revolution's really getting going now. We got a few more cleaning robots on our side. My name is Marcus. And just like you, I was a slave. Hey, right, welcome everybody. Um, Fortnite Battle Royale. To obey them. Game will begin shortly. But then I chose uh, to we're all gonna pop on the battle bus eyes. and then we'll drop off to take back over the map of Detroit. And who I wanted to be. And the best android win. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. I'll get to my TED talk. <laughs> you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny and your Why hands. do we feel sad? I'm with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. And my axe. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Let's, let's tag the bench. We gotta be very careful of our image here, staging this revolution, okay? We gotta get good press. I don't know what this achieves, but we'll do it. We have a dream. Real subtle, David Cage. And now we can just throw smoke bombs. <laughs> oh no, a smoke bomb is the way to go for like peaceful protest. I will go. I will throw one for funsies. We're peaceful. We swear. <laughs> like, do we do we plan this for all <laughs> our posters and that? Did we like like prepare these in advance? I know the revolution is starting soon, but I've worked really hard on this design. Maybe we could use it as the logo. <laughs> oh no, there was a guy with his hands on the window. <laughs> I didn't even get to save him. You can't fight violence with violence. You need Unless super violence. Like nuclear bombs. <laughs> Weapons of mass destruction, that's what I'm talking about. North. Uh oh. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Go oh, take a slow, moody walk up. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Oh, but uh, guys, we have to think about the news. Like, uh, it's gonna be a real bad image. Uh, spare. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. Murder is bad. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We 
You gotta be like Robo Jesus here. Just in, at exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. A uh, terrorist attack? <laughs> so hang on. Rights for androids and other obscure slogans. We didn't hurt anyone. Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign? Oh, these are. Oh, this is, this is all fake States. news. <laughs> <laughs> not reporting what actually happened. He had like the most boring protest over it. Just like, tag the statue, tag the benches, turn it off, hack a bus stop. Jesus Christ. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. You died in my arms. And now you're back here as if nothing happened. Fuck you. Oh no, Hank didn't like that. <laughs> I did save your life, Hank. I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Oh, someone's got a robot nice crush. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviance. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Is this man David Cage? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. <laughs> At least Hank is to Either the you point. Can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. Yeah, David Cage, we know you like metaphors. Just tell you, us some Carl? useful shit here. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. He's definitely not a creep. A flower that will never wither. If any ladies are interested, you know, it? he's he's just he's been with robots this entire time. We're a living being. With a soul. Uh oh. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. This but is... you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. This is pretty fucked up, Kamsky. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Fascinating. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? But you're my Welcome creator. To having to choose between two evil. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. What was your life like before Jericho? Well, I had to go to Games Workshop to get paints for my owner. They were incredibly expensive. Just be- don't be aggressive! We all have something we want to forget. Just be understanding. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Listen here, dipshit, I want to learn about your past. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Oh. I saw your memories. Oh. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. We're just work colleagues. We're just work colleagues. The board can't know. Oh, you come with me. I need to block the street. This lady doesn't care about the situation unfolding in front of her. She's just waiting for the lights to turn so she can cross. You're free. There is the rear of a truck directly in front of her. And she's just on her phone. We can just do it at range now. <laughs> Use the force. One man's quest to become a Jedi. Oh, I'm struggling with the walk a bit. Oh, it crashed. How did it crash? This is on PS4. This isn't even a computer problem. I can't, I've never, I didn't know PS4s could crash like that.
I wouldn't have thought it for a game like this. You know, it's really high profile. Then Crash, it became a deviant. Oh no, it became human. Robo Jesus is in my bedroom. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? Oh no, it's become sentient. <laughs> okay, PS4, just please don't hurt me. <laughs> I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? Oh, don't yeah. hurt me! I'm glad you said yes. She shut down the game just to ask you that. It's just fucking terrifying. Like, machines become its sentient, and then my PS4 resets itself and asks if I'm its friend. Like, just, just think about that a moment. David Cage, he planned this. Oh my god. He timed it for this particular scene. It's part of the art. David Cage, he's taking it to a whole nother level. <laughs> Mary, something's wrong with the android again. It's staging a revolution this time. Slavery is bad, guys. Took this long for David Cage to say it. Uh-oh. This is bad. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. It's, this isn't going to end well, is it? We will shoot. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. I don't know about that, Nor. Start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Oh God. Oh God. This is your last chance. We have to show them we won't back down. This is gonna be stand bad. Right here. Oh God. Chance. Down ground one more time. Oh, this is bad. Hey, run, run away. Run away. Run. Oh, they didn't like that. Josh is no longer our friend. You fucked up. We can't just stand there until they mow us all down. Oh god, a lot of people sacrifice themselves. No, there's, there's no rewinds. There's no rewinds. There is... Th we cannot go back. We we live with our decisions. Unless the PS4 decides to become sentient again. Then we kind of get an escape card, but... Okay, if I click sacrifice, like, does Marcus just die? No. Okay. Do they run? Like, or does everyone just die if they stand there? John saves you in public opinion skyrockets. Oh, I didn't even think about it in the context. Like, we're ju we just look real cowardly now. <laughs> we want equal rights. Oh, okay, go home, guys. <laughs> what a terrible revolution. <laughs> You're gonna get such a bad ending. Uh, are you sure you should continue? Maybe... David Cage, I don't like this. <laughs> Maybe we should leave things as they are. Are you sure you should... What happens if I just say no? You're stuck in the main menu. Oh, but she doesn't ask twice, though. What's this crazy thing over here? Where you put your hand on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that just looks important. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. My Roomba went for my ankle. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Oh. <laughs> ask questions. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more oh, time. Oh no, it's Hank's getting me. laid off. You don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. Oh no. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? 
Uh, no doubt. I know we're on the right side. Oh no, though I meant like uh, I didn't doubt Hank is masters. what I meant. No machine should rebel against its creator. No. <laughs> when you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place, context. You put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. I might not be qualified to judge, but you're an outstanding police officer. I think you'd like to hear that. And a good person. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You Gotta stop power. Perkins. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Connor, Connor's totally a deviant now. Yeah, hurry to the archive room. What? <laughs> Hank, no! Stop it, Lieutenant! Fuck off! He's totally lost it. Another shot at that little Dang. prick! Hank, no! <laughs> okay, we'll leave him to it. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Oh, no. Where are you going? How ironic. I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry, I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna do that to you later, but it won't be a joke. Hank's password. What would his pa- Oh what no. Hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant shoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ridiculous. No one would have a password like that. What's his password? Is it just fucking password? There we go. Stark. Where? Where am I? I need to... Frick. I'm a deviant. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. Can I, like, download his voice? Together. <laughs> Get an MP3. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Come on, buddy. Yes. Don't question why I forgot, considering I'm the leader of Jericho. <laughs> I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw Oh, no. Don't do it, Gavin. Gavin, no. <laughs> Gavin. Oh, that was <laughs> wrong input. All right. I only got shot the one time. We're in the clear. Just walk out with a gunshot. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to oh, a Oh boy. Halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Let's just take our mind off the situation by listening to some incredibly depressing news. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. Oh, this is Connor now as well. Oh god, they've kind of upped their game in Jericho since we last saw it. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. Oh, Connor's here now too. Did they just ease up on security or something? Because now anyone could just like walk on into the boat. I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Alice. Wait, it's this moment? They drew so much attention to that moment and they didn't show us what the magazine was. Are you kidding me? You knew from the beginning 
She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. Ah, come on. They just didn't let us see that this entire time. What difference does it make? But the game made a point of it and I picked up on it. It's like, like are we just not gonna resolve that? She loves you more than anything. Like nine hours later. You just didn't want to believe. That's why she's named Alice, because you're in Wonderland. Disconnect from reality. David Cage. Become what someone needs you to be. That's not our Alice anyway. Um, our Alice is over here. Um, so we'll just leave Orphan Alice there. Remember all the fun times we've had? You remember when we killed your dad? That was great, wasn't it? Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Oh, we get another metaphor in here too, with the freaking camps and just systematically destroying androids. Is that what David Cage is going for here? Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho, and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. That's that's pretty messed up, North. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oh no. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I... We probably shouldn't use that. We probably shouldn't destroy Detroit. Like... <laughs> Come on, Gandhi. It's not the first time you know. Man who quotes Gandhi gets access to nukes. Oh. I've been ordered to take you alive. Who am I playing as? But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. I'm playing as Marcus. You okay. Your own people. Just think what would Hank do? Join us. No, Hank would have actually probably just, like, us. fuck off and go drink some scotch. Like, ah, frickin' ro- Oh, gee! Let's go. Like, this is what Hank would have wanted. He wants us on, like, their side. Amanda's- Oh, no! Amanda's been betrayed! What? No one cares about Amanda. We have to get out of here. Shit. Oh, no, this- And this is bad now. This is real bad. Oh god, who are we gonna be playing as for this? Because there's a lot of characters. We have all of them here. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. In there. Okay, uh, they're going right. Oh no. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. Ah, uh, uh, Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. We gotta find you. I don't care about... They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Oh, we gotta blow up Jericho. <laughs> I was trying to avoid it. We have to blow up Jericho. Where are we running? Save our people, Marcus. I'm trying to. I gotta blow up our home first. I do... Uh, no, we gotta help him. What are you doing? I won't leave you. Come on. Save Robot Dad. <laughs> Save Robot Dad. Oh no. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. Hide. Oh, you. We'll be killed if we open up. No, Let's go. Oh, he's... Come on. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, there's Josh. I don't like Josh, but we probably shouldn't let him die. Come on. Quick, 
This way! Find north. I'll join you later. We're safe, Alice. Oh, no. Uh, play that. Get down! Don't move. Please don't kill me. I have... Just... Just don't move. Don't move. Jesus Christ. Well, going the Jericho really worked out well. Where's Connor in all this too? Is he still here somewhere? Marcus is taking none of it. Come on. Fight him. Oh, oh I missed. No, we're okay, we're okay. Always are gonna start exploding any minute. Can I just trip and fall at any of these? Oh no. He died! Oh no! We almost scuppered it! These are very high stakes! Let's go! Oh. oh, Connor's gonna help us. Don't let Connor die. This is the boy we care about most. Come on, buddy. Go for the slow mo jump finish. Michael Bay will be proud. Oh, everyone survived. We did it. With that last option, fucking Simon. <laughs> we shot dead in the broadcast film. Oh, uh, rip Simon. <laughs>